All right, so this is going to be a quick tutorial about Lewis symbols. The objective for this lesson is to draw Lewis symbols of atoms, draw Lewis symbols of ions, and to explain the parts of Lewis symbols. So here's a quick review about the valence electrons and how it relates to elements, element group. If you remember, elements in the same group have similar properties. And the reason for this is because they have the same number of valence electrons. So if you look at our, our little periodic table here, group one, every single one of the elements in group one has one valence electron. Group two, they all have two valence electrons. Group 13, all the way over here, all has three. 14 has four, 15 has five, 16 has six, 17 has seven. And then group 18 all have eight except for helium. If you remember, helium is the exception because it only has two electrons. Okay, so that's a quick review over valence electrons and how they're related to the element group. Okay, so what are Lewis symbols and how is that related to what I just talked about? Well, Lewis symbols are used to describe the valence electrons of atoms and monatomic ions, which are just ions with one atom. So monatomic means one atom. Okay, this consists of an element symbol. So the, one of the first steps you have to do is write, is draw the, the element symbol for whichever atom you're looking at. And you have, to, you have to represent one dot for each valence electron of that atom. And then uh, kind of a special exception is there's brackets around Lewis symbols for ions with the charge outside the brackets in the upper right. And I'm going to show you an example of that if that's confusing. And there, are, there is one exception to this rule is that cations don't actually have any of those dots. So I said one dot for each valence electron. There's no dots with cations. But again, I'm going to show you an example of that to kind of make, help that make more sense. All right, so here's an example of a Lewis symbol right here for oxygen. Okay, so you write the element symbol to O right here. And because oxygen has six valence electrons, it has six dots. And a good rule of thumb to do, because uh, this will help uh, in, in later units, is, is kind of just circle around the symbol with the dots. And never put a more than two on each side. So like left, right, top, bottom. Never put more than two electrons. But so for this one, say you just started right here, you drew one dot here, one dot here, one dot here, one here, and then it overlaps here and here. It's kind of a good rule of thumb to do that. Okay, so you just so, okay, oxygen has six valence electrons, put one here, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then you have your Lewis symbol for oxygen. And this O represents the O from oxygen. It's the element symbol. Okay? Now what happens if oxygen was an ion, an O2 negative ion? Well, what you do here, because it has eight valence electrons, this oxygen ion has eight valence electrons, you just do the same rule, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now you have the filled octet. So now you know that this oxygen is more stable because it has that, that eight electrons that it wants. And if you notice, I put brackets around the ion because brackets go around that symbol and then outside of that symbol is where the charge goes in the upper right hand corner okay so this is for anions when it's a negative ion okay if it's a cation like magnesium here because it, it loses two of its valence electrons it will look like this if you notice there's no dots on this so it lost its two valence electrons it's still assumed to be full to have a full um, outer shell but we don't actually worry about that because it lost it lost its initial shell that it has when it's an element so we don't actually put any dots on this you put brackets around just like the oxygen and you put a two plus on the outside because it lost two negatives if it lost two negatives it became positive that should be a review from the last unit okay so no dots bracket symbol and then you put the charge out here. This is for the Lewis symbols. So that's Lewis symbols. Uh, if you have any questions about any of the stuff I'm covering in this video, please let me know.